young man. Well, not a minute too soon. He will be performing <laughs> at the Comedy and Magic Club in Hermosa Beach, California, June 30th, June 20th through the 23rd, and I bet you he comes back on the 30th. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, here's Tommy Jonigan. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I live with my girlfriend now. That's what I do. Uh, I live with my girlfriend. Uh, I love it. I didn't know that when you move in with someone, you start having to eat and go to bed at the same time they do, like two cellmates who got processed together, though. <laughs> Seems weird. She should have just handed me a toothbrush and a schedule the day we moved in. I didn't know that happens. I have to eat when she eats. That's against nature. She calls me at noon. What were you going to do for dinner tonight? Eat when I'm hungry. That's how I stay alive. <laughs> I don't have to go to bed when she goes to bed. I'm not trying to be, uh, I don't have to go to bed. She doesn't make me go to bed. You know what I mean? I can stay up. I'm a man. <laughs> I've stayed up. She's like, I'm going to bed. Well, I'm staying up. <laughs> and then I walk around my house like a cat burglar <laughs> for two hours. I watched TV with the volume on three the other night. <laughs> Felt like Law and Order was keeping a secret from me. She eats very healthy. Uh, that's good. And I thought when I moved in with her that uh, I was going to start eating healthy. But what actually happened is I eat healthy when she's around <laughs> and when she's not around. I'm a weird closeted shame eater. <laughs> I ate ice cream in my car in the garage the other day. <laughs> and then threw the container in a dumpster like a bloody glove. <laughs> Just went upstairs like I've never heard of ice cream. What's this cream you speak of? <laughs> She came home and she wanted to eat the leftover lasagna that we had the other day and I had to tell her that we don't have any leftover lasagna because my friend Kevin came over and we ate it all. And she got upset. But luckily she doesn't know that I'm also Kevin. <laughs> I'm not sure. She introduced me to red wine. I, uh, I'd never had red wine until we started dating. She introduced me to red wine and red wine introduced me to crying for no reason. <laughs> so that's a, uh, that's just a thing I do now. I don't know how many times a man can cry in front of a woman before she just leaves, but it's more than eight. <laughs> Eight's cool. We're still at that phase in our relationship where it seems like every day we're together, I find out something new that's really important to her that I don't care about at all. She called and said she couldn't sleep because the rug in our living room doesn't look right. And she stayed awake thinking about the rug and where we're going to get a new rug and what we're going to do with the old rug when we get the new rug. And I was thinking she's going to stop talking in a second. <laughs> and I don't know what I'm supposed to do when that happens. She stopped talking and I was like, do I just chuck my phone in a river, start a new life? <laughs> How do I relate to this woman? I've never lost sleep over a rug and I've slept on a rug before. <laughs> That's when you should toss and turn when you're using it as a blanket and a mattress. I woke up refreshed, like, what's this, Tempur-Pedic? What's my rug number? <laughs> I jumped up and down on one side and my glass of wine didn't even spill on the other side. We're in love. I know we're in love. Uh, we say I love you, and we wrote it on the board in our kitchen one time. So <laughs> it's contractually obligated now. <laughs> I know I love her, but I don't know what love feels like. I don't know the feeling of love, the, how it feels. You know what I mean? I know what hungry feels like. <laughs> Every time I'm hungry, very confident that I'm hungry. I've, <laughs> I've never been hungry and been like, maybe I should wait three months before I say that I'm hungry. <laughs> What if I'm hungry, but I'm not in hungry? <laughs> what if I think I'm hungry, but I'm just trying to get back at something I ate a long time ago? <laughs> and then you say, I love you, and you're in love, and that's how love works. You just say, I love you, they say, I love you back, and you're in love. And that's not enough. That's not enough explanation. It should be more words. It should be something like, I, the person standing in front of you right now, love the person that you are right now. <laughs> if you change even a little, I may not like you at all. 
but this is love. Thank you guys very much. <laughs>